Yeah, guys, I robbed the Peterson Automotive Museum, snagged their motor speedway of the South display, and now got to chill in here in my basement. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. I got this legally off eBay. Actually, my parents got it for me as a gift. Best gift ever. I mean, seriously, they really are the best parents anyone could ask for because this thing is monstrous, and they had to do literally so much to just get it to fit here in the basement we'll get into all that later but obviously this is a very different type of video here on the channel a lot of people always ask like you should do a room tour i want to see a room tour and well you know this is kind of like that it's kind of like a house tour almost because you're going to get to see parts of my basement here in the background but yeah i do have the full motor speedway of the south display used at the peterson automotive museum as you saw there in the pics during the intro of the video and man i just can't believe that i don't have many thoughts for this now obviously this is not the motor speedway of the south set that they had in the case but it is the display and all that itself i'm putting my own motor speedway of the south display in here and yeah like i said <laughs> this is just amazing like probably just like the climax the best piece any collector could ask for probably even cooler than most of my prototypes so what we're going to do in this video is you're going to watch me if you want put this thing together and make it kind of look like the display at the museum. I'm also going to put some other stuff in there because it's a pretty big space and it would look pretty cool. So we're going to get that going and I will see you guys in the next clip. Come to you, come to you. Right. everything's looking pretty good in there if I do say so myself that took about 10 runs up and down the stairs with about four to five cars in hand each don't worry I was safe about it but just so you guys know these are not the official motor speedway of the south cars that are limited to 1000 a piece the packaging is but i actually just use standard releases and a custom mac i car the reason for that well this basement has the potential to flood and the moisture from that may not be great for the paint that they used on these you guys know of zinc pest yeah that's the thing where it gets into the paint of these cars and causes them to crack a little bit or just kind of like the expansion of the metal and i'll show you guys examples of that for my real set i do have two sets one of which has the perfect cars and those are stowed away in an airtight container and the other ones i did have on display and i'm just relocating those into my other set which you guys saw in my collection videos but we gotta find out what we're gonna put in all this empty space here that's a lot of real estate that i'm not just gonna let go to waste like the peterson automotive museum did i don't have that kind of room to spare so let's take a look throughout my room and studio to see what should go in here you guys are really getting an all-in-one experience today not only a peterson automotive museum heist video kind of a room tour house tour behind the scenes video now 
This is absolutely insane, but I do want to show you guys those bad Motor Speedway of the South Zinc Pest Plagued Vehicles. This one's one of my worst. So not only is he expanding there on the sides, but a lot of the decals, like the paint, is cracked. Now, it tends to only happen on this model, like the RPM Octane Gain model. So there you have RPM there. However, it can happen on the others, like Lee Revkins here. You can see he's starting to expand, but his paint hasn't started to crack yet. Actually, it has there on the spoiler, but that's the only spot. I didn't mark the ones that were bad. I don't think there were any other ones that were not that model. I was pretty fortunate with this set. I think oh, N2 Cola looks pretty good. Yeah, it doesn't happen to like Lightning McQueen, the King. I've never had it on one of these models at all. So very fortunate about that. Oh yeah, Little Torquey Pistons is cracking a little bit, which kind of stinks. Expanding a little bit as well. Oh well. All right, guys, let's move on. <laughs> I was thinking about putting this in there, this Tomiko 5-pack, because that's pretty rare. Jeez, Disney Docket, why do you have so many Tomikos? <laughs> this is actually a really cool prototype set. That actually probably should go in there, because it's a prototype. Look at this behind-the-scenes action you guys are getting. How wild. So here's my other Motor Speedway of the South set. That's now bare bones. It will be the home to the ones I just showed you there on the table. I have some other cool stuff in here as well, but most of it probably will stay. Oh my god, I have so much to unbox. Holy crud. This is where the Motor Speedway of the South set that I moved downstairs used to be. You guys should know that from my collection video. I'm not really vibing with anything in here. The haulers are already in a good spot. Those country Disney Store McQueens are in a good spot. Of course, the wall of shame lives on. <laughs> Got some storytellers there. You know what? I think some of these might make the final cut. Do you guys remember I did a video on some of these package prototypes a little over a year ago now, maybe, maybe a little less than that. I'll leave the link for that in the description below. But these I have not had on display, and they are definitely display worthy. Now, these two in the bottom here are not. Oops. Get a little peek ski at my shoes there. These are not prototypes, but they are package variants that are extremely rare. Of course, you have Eric Lanley there. And then you have Sage Vanderspin with the correct artwork that is extremely rare. So I think I might put some of these in there. Oh, and so if you guys were wondering, these which were in there, up top there, are now going to go in there. So a big switcheroo, but it's all in spirit of protecting the legit cars and moving the ones that are just regular releases down to a more possibly vulnerable spot, you know, susceptible to moisture and maybe a little bit more air seeping in than in there. I don't know, probably not, but Scientist Disney Docket has made the evaluation and it's a done deal now. There really isn't much else to put in there. I don't know. This is gonna be a really tough decision. I kinda of have this display all worked out already, so I don't really wanna change anything there. Okay, so this is what I decided on. Now, you guys have not seen these prototype packagings. They're like little staged prototype packages, I guess. I've never really seen anything like them before, so I picked them up on eBay a couple weeks ago, and I'm pretty happy with how they look. Tossed the Motorama Lightning McQueen there in the middle. Got the package Cars 3 prototypes that I showed off in that video there, and then two very rare Toys R Us exclusive five packs with one exclusive car, Tomiko, and then Tom talk now they aren't the most exciting things to put here i mean out of everything they're the weakest but they were the most accessible to me like i have some nicer stuff that's buried in storage like i have the bob motor four pack that also would have been kind of cool to put in here but for now this is what it's gonna look like and i hope you guys like it i hope you guys like my little display
It's a little bit more crowded than the Peterson Automotive Museum, but like I said, I gotta take advantage of the space because it frees up some room upstairs. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I know it's definitely something out of the ordinary, but I really hope you enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun for me to put this, you know, just kind of a different video together for you guys. So let me know in the comments what you think. I'll see you guys soon for another video. Bye now.